Hello there! If you're new to Linux on Chromebooks, then you may be interested in my playlist on how to install and set up a Linux desktop on a Chromebook without running. This video covers running applications with Sommelier to help with programs that are having performance issues. Sommelier is a Wayland compositor. It is a display server that handles communication with a user's client session. From my understanding, Linux on Chrome is always running Sommelier. And when we run the desktop, we are using a nested X server, which is still running inside Sommelier. What we can do if a program is not running well under the nested X server is to use Sommelier to run the program outside the nested X server and run under Sommelier instead. Sommelier is best for getting the maximum performance and controlling the scaling of an application. However, when I open up an application by itself, such as LX Terminal, and it opens up outside the desktop, and I try to copy over some text from my desktop over to LX Terminal, no text is copied over, so the application is more isolated when running by itself with Sommelier. When I go to the properties and change the default launch command under the desktop entry tab so that it is prefixed with env space in all capital letters gdk underscore backend is equal to lowercase x11 space, we can now see that I can copy text over to LX Terminal because it is now running inside the desktop. This is just something to note when deciding on whether or not you want to use Sommelier to run an application outside the desktop. We can use Sommelier to start up a Linux program from a terminal, from a script, or from the menu. First, we will use Sommelier in LX Terminal. The command we will run is sommelier space dash capital X space dash dash scale is equal to 1.3 space dash dash glamour space dash dash frame dash color is equal to hashtag 0000000 space and to finish off the command we will need the launch command which we can get from going to the LXDE menu and right clicking on the application. For this example, I will be doing FreeCAD. Select properties and go to the desktop entry tab and highlight the command text and do control C to copy the already existing command. You can click the cancel button to close out of the properties window and we will go back to LX terminal and do control shift V to paste the launch command at the end of our sommelier command. This command will use Sommelier to run our application outside of the desktop, which is FreeCAD in my case, with a scale value of 1.3 and the frame color will make the window border black. You can play around with the hexadecimal color if you want the window border to be a different color. We're going to press enter to execute the command and the program will start up and we can see that it runs outside of the desktop when we look at the bottom shelf of our Chromebook. Scaling will vary depending on your Chromebook display settings, screen size, and the program itself. So the scale value I have here may not look the same for you. This means that you'll want to play around with the scale value to find the one that works best for you. As you do that, keep in mind that the larger the scale value, the smaller the screen, and the smaller the scale value, the larger the screen. The scale value can be in a decimal point, and I've gone as far as the thousands place, but you can experiment with the number of decimal places and the scale value as much as you want. You won't break anything. For additional options that you can use with Sommelier, you can type in Sommelier space dash dash help into a terminal for more options to experiment with. If the program is not full screen, try pressing the full screen key on your Chromebook keyboard. Sometimes a program is unable to be full screen, so the full screen key may not always work. If the program doesn't run, it crashes, or it looks messed up, it may be because the window is too big for the screen. And if that's the case, try increasing the scale value. If increasing the scale value doesn't work, then try decreasing the scale value. Another possibility may be that the launch command that's been copied over has some kind of option that's interfering with running the application. If that's the case, try deleting different parts of the launch command and executing the Sommelier command again. I've found that if the launch command has an option such as %f, that deleting %f makes the command work. Again, you'll need to experiment to see what works. 
Lastly, if the application is glitchy, try looking in the application's settings and lowering the resolution and turning off extra features in the program you are trying to run. Now that we know how to use Sommelier, we can go over some other ways that we can use it. Another way we can use it is by creating a script that we can execute by name in a terminal. To do that, we are going to open up LX Terminal and we are going to type sudo space nano space slash usr slash bin slash go the name of the program, which again in my case is FreeCAD. This will open up the nano text editor and create a file named go FreeCAD in the slash user slash bin file path. You can name your file whatever you would like. I start each file name with go because it makes the file easier to find and takes less typing. In the nano text editor, we will type in the sommelier command that we used before, which again is sommelier space dash capital X space dash dash scale is equal to 1.3 space dash dash glamour space dash dash frame dash color is equal to hashtag 0000000 space, the launch command that we learned how to find earlier in the video. Once we are done inputting the sommelier command, we will press enter out of good practice because it's like pressing enter to execute the command. The nano text editor automatically does this, but again, it's just good practice. Now we can do control O to write out the file, press enter to save, and then do control X to exit the nano text editor. Now, all we need to do is make the file executable by typing sudo space chmod space plus x space slash usr slash bin slash go freecad or whatever you name the file and executing the command. After that, you can simply type in the name of the script that we just created, press enter, and the program will run using the sommelier command that we put in the script. If the script doesn't work because of a mistake in the command, that's okay because you can do sudo space nano space slash usr slash bin slash the name of your script to edit and fix any mistakes. Then just save like usual by doing control O, enter, and then control X. The last way that we can use sommelier is by editing the launch command of the program from the menu so that whenever we select the application from the menu, it launches using the sommelier command. To do that, we are going to go to where the application is located in the LXDE menu, right-click it, select Properties, and go to the Desktop Entry tab. We're going to prefix the already existing command with the sommelier command. Make sure there's a space between the sommelier command and the already existing command. And this time, you don't have to end it with the launch command because it's already there. Alternatively, you can replace the whole command with a script like the one we created earlier. The advantage to using a script is it makes it easier to do multi-line scripts. Once you are done, press the OK button, and when you click on the program from the menu, it will use Sommelier to run outside the desktop. If you enjoyed this video, you may be interested in the companion book to this video, the Chromebook Guide to Google Linux. Other than that, enjoy the desktop and see you soon!